Hi everyone and welcome back to Daily Mix. I'm Rosie from the channel Miss Rosie B and today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade sensory felt Christmas decorations that will look gorgeous on your tree. To make the decorations you're going to need two colours of felt. I've chosen cream and red and then some of this squiggly stuff which I do not know the technical name for <laughs> um, in cream and red again. You're going to want a thick embroidery needle, um, some pins, some polyester wadding, you're going to want some sharp scissors to cut the felt and then some smaller scissors just to cut the thread. To make the decoration smell nice I'm going to use some spices, I have cinnamon and whole cloves and the final thing you're going to need is some embroidery thread, I have some in red and some in white. So first things first you're going to want a pattern, now you could just draw it out by hand straight onto the felt but I drew mine out on some paper first and then cut them out. If you want the exact same pattern that I had then you can find the link down below. So step one is to take two pieces of felt like so and put them together like this. I've already done that here, as you can see. <laughs> um, and then you want to take your pattern pieces which you will have cut out and pin them onto the felt. Today I'm going to be doing the little bauble design. So once you've cut them out, you should have two bits looking like this. I'm doing mine in red instead. So I'm going to take the sharp scissors and just cut around the design. So once you've cut around the design, you'll end up with something like this. All you need to do is just remove the pins and the design and you'll be left with two little felt circles. So I'm going to be creating a red bauble today, um, so I've just got one circle here because I'm going to be doing the decorations now. For the decoration I'm going to stick on some of this wiggly trimming that I have here. So I've already cut two bits like this, cut them slightly larger than your circle is already and then you can trim them once they've glued and dried. To apply the decorations I'm going to use super glue, you can sew these on if you want but glue is just much quicker. So all you're going to want to do is run the glue along the edge of the squiggly trimming and just press it down on the design wherever you want it to go. And then just do exactly the same for the other part. Once your glue has dried you can take your design and going from the back just chop off any loose ends. I've already pieced my two pieces of felt together and started sewing around the outside. For my decorations I've just used a basic straight stitch but if you're a bit more advanced you could maybe do a blanket stitch because that looks really nice as well. So I've already started sewing but I have stopped about three quarters of the way around and that's because I'm going to add the stuffing in. And for that I'm using polyester wadding. You can get this at pretty much any sewing shop or craft shop. So I'm going to fill the bauble up halfway and then I'm going to add the spices. So literally just stuffing the wadding in like so until it fills around halfway up. Now we've come to my favourite part which is adding spices. Um, I think I'm going to add some whole cloves to mine. So just put a few in my hand. I think the addition of the spices makes the decorations a little bit more special and a lot more Christmassy. So all you do is just put the cloves in the centre and then fill the rest of the bauble up with more wadding. So once you're happy with the amount of wadding you've added, you just take the needle again and just sew up the rest of the bauble. So now I've stitched all the way around, I'm just going to finish off the edge so that none of the stitching comes undone like so, and then take your little scissors and just snip the end of that thread. So now we're going to create a little loop where we can hang our design from. So I'm just taking a bit more of this white embroidery thread and chopping it. And then I'm going to thread it back through the needle. To tie the knot at the end of the thread, I take my thumb and my index finger and place them between the thread. I then put the thread looped around my finger and just roll it off with my thumb and then you have a knot. Then on your design you're going to want to find the place where you want to hang it from and go in 
in between the layers. Like so. And try and hide the knot. Doesn't always hide. <laughs> and then just do a loop around. And finish that loop off. And that is your finished design. So obviously you don't just need to do a bauble design, you can do a Christmas tree design like this, or a bird, which is my personal favourite. Um, this is a bit more advanced, but still pr pretty easy. Um, and then there's a gingerbread man and a star. And if you want to get the patterns I've been using today, there's a link in the description bar for the designs that you can print off and use yourself. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which design is your favourite and whether or not I should do more arts and crafts videos like this. And I will see you soon. Bye. Hello everybody and welcome back to Daily Mix. My name's Ray from the channel Beauty Bubble Pop here on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you five different Christmas DIY gifts which you could give this Christmas to your friends or family. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas and also help you to save money this Christmas. So I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into it. DIY you will need some paint, a cardboard box which is kind of like a jewellery box and then a selection of different size sponges and you can choose any colours you want I just went for white and red um, so I just put my paints on this Chinese takeaway lid and I'm going to be taking the big sponge first and just painting the box red all over After painting all of that I went ahead and let the box dry until that first layer was covered and then I took the two smaller sponges and the white paint now once the box was dry and just created a variety of different size dots all over the box and I really like the way this turned out I thought the dots looked kind of like little snowballs or something it adds like quite a vintage feel to it I decided to add some tinsel and then a selection of makeup as a cute little gift and people can just store their makeup in this box. So now I'm going to be showing you how to create these really easy candy sleighs. So I just got a selection of different sized chocolate and two candy canes. So I stacked the chocolate on top of each other and then got a gold ribbon and tied them all together with a bow. Then I just slid the two candy canes on either side. I decided to put a cute little white ribbon on top just to finish it off. So now I'm going to be showing you how to create this nail spa in a jar. So you will need a jar, a selection of nail polishes, I just went for this sparkly one. And then you can just choose any kind of nail stuff you want in there. So I opened up and put in one nail polish, so it will only probably fit in one nail polish depending on the size. And then I just put in the rest of the nail stuff and closed it up. Then I decided to put some ribbon around the lid. And then I put this adorable blue ribbon on top. So 
So now I'm going to show you how to create these super easy Sharpie mugs. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you just want a plain mug and a selection of Sharpies. I thought these were very Christmassy themed Sharpies. 